Hello again, everyone. Thanks for having me uh, another time, and uh, welcome to the to the new faces. Um, my name is Markus Huber. I, I work for for a company called Brightonwood, and uh, part of our our uh, job is to do special projects like this. We are specialist engineers for GRC, precast other materials, and in, in the case of the the, the the Elizabeth line, we also did uh, an endless amount of fabrication models, which a few of them you will see in a moment. Um, I, before I, I start to run you through this, I, I wanted to give a, a bit of credit to all the other companies that, that were involved in, in this project. We often see on social media that, that everyone presents themselves as the, the, the big star, and I, I just wanted to, to say that uh, first of all, this project needed needed great architects who who did uh, came up with the with the vision for this for this project, and then it, it needed uh, a GRC fabricators, installers, and, and and suppliers to make this a, a reality. So I think it's very important that 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 we rem remember that that we we did this as a as a big team. Um, the, the, I think for the, the ones of you who don't know, there's the, uh, five of the, the stations in, in, in the Elizabeth line were, were in inner, inner London were clad with, with GRC. This, this is, uh, the, I'm sorry, I'm rushing through this. It's, not, it's only 10 minutes this time. Um, the, the, uh, great architectural intent received. And then we, uh, we actually, first, I, I also said the other time, when I started this project in the first moment, I thought it would actually be the most boring project of my life, but then when we realized how complex this was, uh, it, it, it really came to to life. And it, uh, we had that, to give you an idea. At the peak of the project, we had 30 people working on it purely in the in the design office. So there were uh, 20, uh, no, uh, about 32,000 uh, panels installed and made out of 2,300 uh, uh, unique molds. Most of them curved or double curved. Extremely complicated. And how did we even go about that? Initially, we did a, a big mock up intentionally, to, doing like one of the most compli complicated junctions. Um, this is a, 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 a part of Tottenham Court Road, and it was, uh, it was then, so we developed, we developed a scheme for it for the support frames, and, and we also used GRC as a structural element in the, in the uh, in the junctions, uh, which unfortunately now is hidden, otherwise we would have another GRC beauty to to, to look at. But you can uh, you can see it from my, my pictures here. So this 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 part on the on the left side is what we call the task. It was like a spe specifically fabricated GRC element to to uh, to to super tight tolerances to actually be able to uh, to install th this double curved cladding in a in a way that it uh, came came near the specified tolerances. Uh, value engineering. We did a lot of a lot of tests. GRC, surprising to me at that that time, had uh, some uh, fantastic plastic uh, 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 residual strength. We tested it to to 11 times the, the design load. And I think I've, in my my whole career as a as an engineer, I've only shouted twice, and once was when the <laughs> approving engineer still didn't want to believe us that this actually works after, after we had done like hundreds of uh, pages of calculations and this test with 11 times the loads. But anyway, it's a long time ago. Um, blast tests was again like uh, I think this is this is something that we can use in the whole world and in, in the industry. It's, it's, it's incredible how much GRC actually resisted. Um, use of, of beams, or I'm rushing f f through this because so we, we, we don't have time. Use of beam and, and as built co coordination against the, the tunnel. Then here we have a, a little video. How much have I got? I don't know, five minutes. Um, the, this is a, a virtual tour through the GRC package of Whitechapel Station, Liverpool Street Station, and Tottenham Court Road Station. Here you see all the. Uh, all the many panels I, uh, the, with its, uh, I think, three, three million acoustic holes who many of my colleagues and the factory suffered to put into the, all the panels. Um, so it's like, as you see, like extremely compli complex shapes, intersections of, of uh, curves and sometimes hidden 
folds that that that, that made made it even more asymmetrical where where it was already complex enough. Um, here, for example, we're coming out to the, to the entrance holes. Last one, I'll probably just because of lack of time, jump over this a bit, and then we also we cut a video to show the the details of that were developed. So what we what we did is we uh, we we did this fabrication details for for individual bays and junctions, and but because they were so complex, we couldn't we could never do a, a model of a whole station. It was just far too much data. So we had to split up the whole uh, the whole project in, into many of these individual uh, uh, um, models, and they were then then used to drive the CNC machine for the for the molds and 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 produ produce the the G GRC. And then, in the end, after everything had already done, we had to produce some drawings just for contractual compliance. But it's also a, it's a great example of a project of how you can uh, how you can build uh, with digital information and without too much paperwork. Um, go on. Just some some pictures from the GRC factory with all these like the little the little uh, 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 these knobs for the for the for the acoustic hose was extremely difficult in th with the shapes to uh, to demold uh, in in some cases so we had to come up with a, a lot of special special uh, solutions this is one of the tasks being lifted out and he here you can see a little bit how it, it looked like uh, how it looked like behind the the cladding that you see today another one um, Meant to be there for 120 20 years, by the way. It's also good, good like durability uh, investigations were, were done on the project, and but like another further video, which I this is something new that I, I didn't show in the last presentation for the ones who were here. This is uh, a courtesy of GRC UK, they, the, the mother company, Langwork. I think took this video before before the. the Stations were, were handed over, so it was. You still see some rest of construction, but the, but 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 nobody in it. So this how, how it looked like a few years ago. Um, I hope you get a chance to go go down the. the, the I mentioned it the last time, but the Tottenham Court Road station is just five minutes away from from here. It's uh, it's like going into a museum for for people like like us who like GRC and construction. <laughs> and. Conscious of, conscious of time. Quick, quick summary. As I said, uh, 27,000. I don't know. Did I say something wrong? 32,000 square meters, 27,000 individual panels, and the, the specific molds, kilometers and kilometers of uh, of station. And yeah, and and I don't know. I didn't even. Uh, 3.7 million acoustic holes. So that's it. That's it for me. I, w I would like to be, sorry, one, one, ten seconds. I would like to say thank you again for to, to all of you for the uh, to, for the for the awards. I, I I want to say that this really means a lot to to our company, to my colleagues, and and to me because I think you are the people who really understand GRC and and the, the complexity with, with it. So it's it's a great honor to have uh, having received the. The awards, and also because I actually I see how great all the other projects are, so it's it's it, yeah, it's uh, unforgettable for me. And th thank thank you for for inviting me and and having me. It was great to celebrate. With you.